And of course, it's been three days now since the election and two U.S. Senate races and several House races remain undecided tonight. While Republicans are expected to control the House, the Senate remains a toss up. Here's Natalie Brand. Election officials are asking for patience as they continue to count votes with several prominent races hanging in the balance. People are very anxious to get the results. One result that came in Friday night, CBS News projects Arizona Senator Mark Kelly won re-election, defeating Republican Blake Masters. In Maricopa County, Board of Supervisors Chairman Bill Gates criticized those who have questioned the process like Republican gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake, whose race with Democrat Katie Hobbs is considered a toss-up. We're doing things the right way, and that someone from here would suggest that we are doing something wrong, that's frustrating. In Nevada, Governor Steve Sisolak conceded to Republican Joe Lombardo Friday night, but still outstanding is the Senate race between incumbent Catherine Cortez Masto and Republican challenger Adam Laxalt. We're doing everything in our power to move ballots forward just as quickly as we can. Meanwhile, sources tell CBS News former President Trump will announce his presidential campaign next Tuesday. He preemptively launched attacks on the party's rising stars, calling Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, quote, average, and intentionally misspelling Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin's name, asking, quote, sounds Chinese, doesn't it? First of all, I didn't see it. Youngkin brushed off the racist attack. I don't call people names, and I'm about trying to bring people together. Critics of the former president say it's time for the GOP to move forward. I think if Donald Trump becomes the nominee of the Republican Party, the party will shatter. Privately, top Republicans told CBS News they were appalled at Trump's attacks and saw it as evidence of a deepening anger and isolation. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. And tonight, some members of Congress say the midterm results is a sign that the former president's dwindling appeal to voters. However, according to Ballotpedia tonight, Trump endorsed 235 candidates during the midterms, with over 80% of his candidates winning their races.